Hottie loves and welcome back to my channel. This is so weird. This is the first time I'm filming with brown hair. Trust me, I'm just as shocked as you. I didn't think I was actually gonna do it. And then I was like, you know what? Let's do something crazy. And Christina, if you're watching this, she does my hair. She's amazing. Please go visit her. She works at Salon Mystique. Um, she freaking killed it. So anyways, if y'all are new here, I don't know if this is like the first video you want to watch because it's not like a get to know me Q&A, but I am going to be giving you guys a lot of updates and kind of just having like a little girl talk, like pretend like I'm your older sister. I have accumulated some things I've wanted to talk about and then also some things that like I want to answer for you guys. Okay, I'm actually meeting my friend here, so I hope he's not here right now. First things first, I am going to be taking a break. And no, this isn't like a dramatic, like, I'm taking a break, like, that's pathetic. I'm going to California tomorrow. Gonna be staying with my grandma because love her, queen, she's she's amazing. And also she's getting surgery, so I wanna spend time with her, obviously. Um, I decided that I'm not gonna film anything. I'm not gonna upload. I think I need that, just like a tiny break. It's literally gonna be like a week and a half. But um, I'm just really exhausted from doing the whole room makeover series. Like I feel like that kind of took a lot of energy out of me and I just really want to enjoy my time there, so. I will be making TikToks and obviously Instagram photos. I don't know if I'm gonna be making a lot of TikToks though, cause like, I don't know. I'm like all over the place with that app. It's, it's not really my favorite, but it's okay. So, sorry guys, not gonna be a video. I'm gonna be there until the 24th. So after then, I guess I'll have some videos, <laughs> but um, follow my socials, you know? Second thing is you guys obviously know I shot or if you didn't know I Worked with dick sporting goods to do a commercial with them for back to school They flew me out to LA like a couple weeks ago probably over a month ago now because time is flying by so freaking fast It was amazing an incredible opportunity And I guess they liked me because they want me to go back again to work with them this time It's not gonna be in LA. I'll let you guys think and guess where it's gonna be at but um, this time It's gonna be a completely different event. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a bunch of other creators there hopefully hopefully ones that I know yeah I'm really excited it's gonna be fun and I don't know what all I can say about it but I have to film stuff there so you guys are gonna see it super grateful for another opportunity to work with them this year has brought so many opportunities and dick sporting goods is huge like never thought I would work with them next I'm gonna be real I'm gonna be honest with you guys because I love y'all and I feel like I want to be more truthful basically if you guys have ever failed a class I just want to let you know like it's okay because I'm currently taking summer school tutoring to make up for a class that I failed. When you guys hear the name of this class, you're probably going to be like, wow, you're really dumb. The class was logic, but it's freaking hard, you guys. Like it's so hard. My private school like requires it and it's something that I've like never even, like all these words that I've never heard of, like subcontrariety, contrapositive, universal particular, like all these crazy things. I failed the class, so now I'm getting tutored and um, I either could do that and do 10 hours of tutoring or summer school, but I was not about to do summer school for two weeks. Uh-uh, because you have to be in your uniform and stuff. Mr. H, if you're watching this, thank you for tutoring me. You're a king. I really, really, really appreciate it. I want to talk about my faith and kind of where I'm at right now because I feel like I definitely have been going through stuff. I have been raised as a Catholic. I literally have like never missed a Sunday. A lot of people, when they find out I'm Catholic, they kind of like put these expectations on me. And I just want to like let you guys know that not everybody's perfect you constantly make mistakes to learn from them and i am the type of person that has to make a mistake or mess up and then learn from it i don't know everybody's asking me if i am going to stay catholic when i leave high school or when i move away and the truth is i don't know I really don't know. I went to this other church. It was really, really good. It was completely different from what I'm used to. But I think this year especially, I really want to focus on how God can work through me and how I can be like a better person because I feel like this past year, I found myself becoming really like selfish and not reminding myself that God has like provided everything for me. So that's a little bit of that. Another update. I've also gotten so many questions on this. If I'm doing cheer this year, what is up with that? So actually, I am not gonna be doing cheer. This kind of is a surprise to some people. I had a lot of fun doing it last year. It was my first year being a cheerleader at a private school. It was completely different from public school. And for the most part, I would say like, I had a 
good experience. My coach was really cool. She and I clicked really well. I got in a lot of trouble last year because when you're a cheerleader, they obviously put you on a higher pedestal on top of being at a Christian private school. They just really like hold you up there and a lot of parents just didn't really like me because I was new. Obviously I came from public school. A lot of the kids at my school are very sheltered, which is completely fine. Um, yeah, a lot of people tried to like snitch on me and stuff for cussing in my videos, but I like bleep out every time that I cuss. So I was like, what? Okay. So yeah, I got in trouble because I was a cheerleader. I was supposed to be held like accountable if I acted up, but I like didn't act up. So <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um, also it was really time consuming. I had like no time to do YouTube school and that and the fact that it was like my first year switching schools I was like I was like crying so it was kind of rough I made a lot of memories I really liked the team last year yeah kind of sad okay and now I have three questions that I wrote down this is like my little journal it says Q&A let's talk first one says in what ways have you changed since you first started YouTube uh, well, for one, my hair has gone through so many changes and so many phases. My confidence has changed incredibly. Wait, is that right? Astronomically. Like, when I first started YouTube, I felt like I was kind of confident. Otherwise, like, I wouldn't have started it. I had a lot of confidence from being known as, like, the singer in my town because I would always sing at, like, events and, like, the University of Texas and all that. And so it wasn't like I just had like no talent to like help grow my channel and then I just started it. Like my main thing of starting it was to show my singing. Well, when I started getting like followers and then people from my school started playing my videos like in class and stuff, I became very, very, very insecure, not confident. And it honestly makes me really sad because the people that talk about me and made fun of me either now have like snapchatted me and said some really weird stuff like gross stuff like turn off stuff um or like some girls who absolutely hated me tried like mingling their way and like to become my friend and obviously i will always forgive people i don't hate anybody but it just kind of makes me sad because like it kind of shows what people's true colors are and that they never really had good intentions for you from the start they just want something out of you so that's been really difficult um, obviously you guys have seen the amount of friends that have come and left and right now i feel so so blessed for my friend group because it's been very nice and they've just all been there for me and i've met so many incredible people who have like changed the way that i think and see the world and all that yeah i mean i definitely think i got more confident i also feel like i grew really thick skin because i've gotten clowned on so much not only by like people in my town but like some staff members at my school people on the internet obviously like no matter where you go, people are gonna say things about you. They're gonna talk about you. They're gonna have an opinion on you because they're insecure or they just don't like you. Obviously, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but it's like most of these people that say are hiding behind a screen. Like they wouldn't actually say it to your face. I just take everything with a grain of salt. Like if somebody doesn't like me, then I honestly pray for them because they probably need Jesus in their life. But yeah so i posted something on my instagram answering questions like on my story and somebody asked how tall i was i said five two because that is how tall i am and everybody slid up and was so confused and like what like you're five two all this stuff and i know it's crazy i used to hate being short like literally ask my family they're they're gonna say how annoying i was because i used to hate being short but now i freaking love it and i've accepted it i don't think i'm gonna grow any taller height doesn't define you whether you're a girl or a boy i feel like you shouldn't not like somebody because of their height like god made everybody differently but yeah i'm not five six i'm five two with some attitude all right last question thoughts on stretch marks i am so glad somebody wrote this because i feel like i could say so much about this i kind of went through a slight eating disorder body dysmorphia phase um trigger warning for anybody who has an eating disorder that has kind of been something that has like run in my family and the whole summer during quarantine i ate so much chick-fil-a and i like stopped working out at the gym and then on top of like getting on birth control 
I gained a lot of weight and that's like something that is a side effect and um, I became really really insecure because a bunch of people were commenting on my weight telling me that I got fat um, I had some family members comment on me and it just like really really broke me down pushed me to go to the gym but in a very unhealthy way and limit what I eat so with that weight I obviously now have stretch marks because I hold on I'm getting Maddie's reaction to my hair Do you like I, it? I like, yes, I didn't know you were doing that. Dude, I didn't tell anybody. I just, I literally told my mom, I was like, yeah, I'm getting my roots touched up. <laughs> and what did she say when she saw it? She was like, I haven't I, seen you in like a month. Dude, I know. It's been like, like what happened? Like, we haven't hung out so long. Holy sh Dude, well, I, I thought we both been so busy. Yeah. Okay, I gotta fill you in when you get back because it's like, yeah. it's a lot. Please. You know all the drama all the time. So. Dude, I I have so much to tell you. Hold on. I gotta like... Oh my... F oh my god. There is a bug. Look at the... Look at how... Oh. Yeah, what was I saying? Stretch marks. I think stretch marks are beautiful. If any guy tells you less, they are stupid and irrelevant. They're literally irrelevant and their opinion does not matter. So stretch marks, that is what makes you beautiful. It literally makes you natural. Like it shows that you're human and everybody should love that. Yo, this bug is like scaring me so much right now. I think that's all I had for the video. So if you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, don't do anything. I love y'all so much. Have a great rest of your day and I will Shouldn't see you when I get back from my break.